Hi everyone, police say three women were held against their will and then beaten. Until one was finally able to escape and run for help. News Channel 5's Nick Barris uncovered this terrifying story. Nick, these women say they were kidnapped and they were held hostage mm. in their own home. Imagine that, really quite a story. At knife point for several hours and there's a very good chance they would still be there right now this evening if not for the quick action of one victim that found one way to get out. It happened here at this home in downtown Murfreesboro. Man, I don't know. The world going crazy. Police say this man, 34-year-old Terrace Frazier, went into the home and held the three female roommates against their will for more than 24 hours. His intimidation, uh, he was actually armed with a knife at one point, uh, and so he would uh, basically just threaten to harm them or their family should they try and escape. The police say Frazier made it difficult, barricading the doorways and windows with mattresses and confining the women for hours, isolated in a bedroom. Uh, at one point, the women had to use the bathroom in the closet rather than using the appropriate facilities. Kyle Evans with Murfreesboro Police says Frazier used physical violence in an effort to extort money from the victims. Police say after one of the victims was badly beaten inside the house, she waited for the suspect to fall asleep, and then snuck out the front door, ran down the road to a fast food restaurant, and pounded on the window begging for help. The victims were too distraught to talk about the ordeal, but neighbors described what happened next. An emergency call and then police quickly converging on the home. Boy, it, it was rough. I'm talking about they're like they've been in the army or something. <laughs> A witness says police surrounded the home with weapons drawn, and when no one answered the door, they sent a robot similar to this one in through the back door to look for the other women. The living conditions inside this house were pretty pitiful. The two other female victims were found cowering on a couch. Frazier was hiding in the bedroom under a pile of blankets and taken into custody. Neighbor Henrietta Johnson is just thankful no one was killed. I pray, get on my knee, pray for the Lord. If I had to go through that, I would have prayed for the Lord. I guess that's what happened. So they got help. They did indeed get help. The three women were not seriously injured. As for Frazier, he's now booked in the Rutherford County Jail on three counts of aggravated kidnapping.